Apocalypse. Hello guys, welcome to High Temp Airsoft. I'm Jake Hansel and today we're going to be talking about this. This is the HG 133U-1. It's uh, first of all, it's a pistol that's on the budget market. It's only going to set you back around forty-five pounds. It's a good quality pistol for that money. Don't be put off that it's too cheap. And just hear out what I got to say about it. It's uh, re really something uh, quite tidy for the money. Um, this gun has a six-inch barrel, so you get a, you get a bit of barrel length on it. Um, it's got a fully adjustable rear sight, just just here with a screw that you can lift it up and down and change the elevation it's got a limit of 300 feet per second 300 fps straight out the box um, and that's using the 2.2 gram bbs it's a gas it's a gas pistol so it uses the green gas and you fill it up just in the bottom of the handle for that which uh, being gas uh, it's got quite a quite a bit of a weight to it the gun itself is like i said it's plastic everything's pretty much plastic on this apart from the shells inside but we'll get to that in a minute uh, and obviously the, uh, the the inner barrel but uh, most of this is plastic um, but you know don't, let's not take it away it's not taking away the quality of the gun it is pretty pretty damn good quality um, the claimed range on this online on the website is 45 meters uh, um, I respectfully totally disagree with that um, I've shot this with 0.2s 0.5s and 0.8s and uh, I'm not even getting close when I'm aiming and I'm pointing straight and I'm going with a straight trajectory um, the absolute maximum I'm finding is the 30 um, so that's 15 meters which is considerable distance less than what it's advertised but nonetheless 45 quid you know you can't can't expect much it really starts to sink into the ground much after 30 so bearing in mind that uh, you know it might be a little less range than you think <coughs> excuse me but, but uh, yeah it, it, it's still still quite a, quite a Swiss gun. Um, it's a single shot, so basically as fast as you can pull the trigger is how fast the six shots will dispense. It's got a rotating barrel, which means when you pull it to lock, this barrel will spin. I'll show you that. I'll show you that again. So the barrel spins, it lines up the next shot. Um, to decompressorize it if you don't want to um, if you don't want to make the shot and you've had it sat there because you know you're sniping it's laying on the grass you just put your thumb on the gripper on the hammer and then you pull the trigger and then you ease that hammer back into place and you'll hear the trigger me tri uh, trigger mechanism click and reset itself um, so yeah that's that even though this gun is made of plastic it's still f got such a good feeling about it it's got some nice weight it's, it looks the bomb. I mean, it's got some nice markings on there. Let's see if you can see that there. It's got Savage Bull with caliber 0.6 mil, and it's a 2002 model. It's got that written on both sides. And also here, it does just state of where it's made, which is Taiwan. Um, so next thing we're going to go on to here, guys, is the uh, little touching on the details. Um, you've got the uh, little uh, grippers on the pistol. You've got the little shapes on the uh, rotating barrel you've got the grips on the hammer to stop your finger sliding off and you've also got the grips on the uh, safety switch which is a which is a really nice touch um, also then when you uh, pop it and we'll come over here and just demonstrate this you push that down and you pop out the barrel nice satisfying nice satisfying click so you push that down pop the barrel out and it exposes this spout and that spout is what helps you eject the uh, eject the rounds. So we'll take these out like so, like so, and then you're left with your empty chamber. Now you fill. If I can get this to zoom in and to register, there we are. you fill the, the BB in the back in the uh, end of the uh, shell with that, as you can see. It's a straight through system, there's no, uh, there's nothing to block it, so the gas proper pumps it out. Fill one round in each shell, that's all it'll take, it won't take any more than one round. And then you proceed to load the gun, which is um, sometimes fiddly, but it's super satisfying. 
you load the gun and then you just shut shut the barrel like that back to the detail it's got the little gripper and um, it's got the little gripper so uh it fits in well there's a good seal between the end of the shells and the little seal at the barrel um so it doesn't leak it literally doesn't leak any any gas at all it all comes straight out the end of the out the end of the muzzle doesn't take a suppressor just in case anybody decides they want to put a suppressor on something like this but yeah it doesn't take a suppressor um, which is uh, good in my eyes because it i don't think it quite look look right with one um but uh yeah so that's pretty much it guys it is what it is it's a revolver it's very basic very cheap and it looks apart and because of the fact that i do actually like this gun even though the range is a bit disappointing for me um that's why i've uh, decided to do a review on this um otherwise i would have thought you know a bit cheap that is but uh, to be honest you you would never guess if i gave this gun to you you would absolutely never guess that it's only 45 quid and you'll you'll be amazed um so yeah if you're thinking of a little sniper buddy this is what you want to get go out and get it it's really good it's really cheap and it works wonders and it's super quiet super quiet you can shoot it and sometimes you don't even know you think oh is there a gas in there but it is legitimately quiet um so for now guys uh, we're pretty we've pretty much um wrapped it up here that's that's all you really need to know about this uh just want to say thank you for all your support uh if you already haven't um liked and subscribed just jump down there like a video subscribe to the video if you want to see more you'll be then notified of any of the future videos i've got come in and i have got some really good videos come in little teaser i've got a anniversary um ics m4 the split gearbox that's coming up i got a custom gas blowback ak that's coming up that's got a it's a standard standard ak but it's got a custom thermal stock on there fitted by josh hodges um and uh, and uh aaron morgan so um yeah that's that's a real treat that gas blowback uh and also the an anniversary ics m4 they're both coming up soon i've got uh, two shotguns to do reviews on as well and i'm going to marry them into the one video because one's long one's short one's cheap one's slightly more money than the other um uh, and they, they, they they're going to work as a pair to compare them off um and they they're tri shot tri shot shotguns so they got three barrels and they shoot three bbs per pump so yeah we've we've got some some good stuff we've got some other pistols as well come in uh and then soon after that we're going to be doing more kit we're going to have a break from the guns we're going to do some kit and um, we're going to do some chest rigs we, we're going to do all sorts so uh if you haven't already hit that subscribe button uh get involved get notified on my next videos and uh and uh, you'll you'll enjoy the content i hope so for now guys that's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from the high temp airsoft group